All right, boys and girls, I have done it. Uh, I've pretty much set out to get this crystal to actually operate. Had problems over the weekend, and then I looked up. Um, it was hard to find out, you know, the proper circuit online, actually. I went through a lot of YouTube videos, but uh, who was it? Learn Electronics has a video called Culpit's Voltage Divider. This guy uh, wrote out this schematic. So these are pretty much the values that he had. And I've been working against this schematic. When I saw him write it out and explain it, it just made the most sense compared to everything else I've been finding. He just explained it pretty simple. Uh, the thing that hung hung me up the most was this transistor. Uh, I'm not familiar with how transistors are hooked up. So that black thing is a transistor. So I had to Google uh, all, everything and I figured out, okay, when you have the flat side, the pins read one, two, and three. And then uh, I had to map these to figure out which, which one mapped to what pin. And uh, from that point on, once I got that transistor wired in correctly, this thing pretty much worked immediately. Uh, but I had been moving wires around left and right constantly. <laughs> and I got to the point once where I just ripped everything off the board and started from scratch. But yeah, this this guy pretty much was was the main thing I needed to know. I actually had a short at one time just because I moved things around and, and forgot, forgot about other connections. I could smell something and I was like, okay, I'm unplugging it. I don't know what's what's making the heat, the smell, but I got to take this off. And then I found out that it was, uh, this guy was extremely hot. And uh, I just went ahead and pulled him out. And I had my little tester here that was able to tell me what kind of um, electrical component this was. And it was able to detect it, which pretty much told me, okay, this guy still works. And you'll see my oscilloscope here. Uh, the other day I made a video showing how you can test a crystal to verify or just to get the speed that the crystal operates at using a signal generator. And then uh, right now I actually have this generating the signal itself. Of course, it's only got like, um, was that 20 millivolts? It's, it's just such a weak signal. Uh, but it does have the correct reading of the frequency. So it's around 3.2 megahertz is which what I bought. Um, but I'm, I'm just not sure about how weak that signal is. Is that normal for a lot of crystals? I don't know. Um, yeah. But I may actually hook this up to the 6502 kit that I have. So Ben Eater made this clock kit that goes up to 400 50 hertz using uh, 555 timers and, and uh, um, pretty much was a potentiometer. The 555 is very popular. I even have this little kit I made last year of just transistors. I may actually go back and just look through these and uh, follow everything through to figure out what the logic is. But um, I'm also considering upgrading this to run at 3.2 megahertz the crystal there is only one megahertz i believe so i can upgrade this this machine to run three times as fast awesome <laughs> uh i think you can make this specific chip run up to 10 megahertz i'll, I'll have to verify but the, the 65 co2 that that's been upgraded over time to run at faster speeds so that's going to be a fun project next. But yeah, this is big for me. <laughs> and uh, again, I'm, I'm working off a of schematic. So I'm, I'm learning from, uh, instead of looking and following videos of how pins go, what pins go where, I'm actually starting to read these schematics and understand what's going on. So that's a big improvement. Um, yeah, fun stuff. <laughs>